Anthony, there's a uh, spot open at the two, uh, but everything I've heard about you is they plan on using you off the bench. Are you okay with that role? I'm fine with any role um, the coaching staff and Coach Brooks has for me. Um, obviously, they know what they're doing here. It's a great organization. Um, I'm just blessed to be a part of it. So just ready to get camp started and just, and just work hard. With with Kevin and Russell on the roster, do you expect to get maybe more open shots than than you've ever seen before? Uh, I definitely hope so. You know, <laughs> I mean, like I've been saying I've I've never been on the team with um, two guys like you know that are that dynamic um, and, and draw that much attention. But uh, I also include Serge in that as well. Um, so just to be on the court with those guys and you know the, the chemistry that they have and, and that we've been kind of building over the last few weeks has been good. Yeah, Anthony, what? Besides just the success of the team the last few years, what drew you to Oklahoma City? What, from an outsider, what did you see that you liked? Um, I mean, just just the fact that it's like it's, it's such like a family um, atmosphere here, you know. And you can tell that playing against them, you can tell on the court, you know, how they interact with each other, um, just just how they speak to each other, how the coaching staff is, and uh, you know, just just being here the, the last, you know, I've been around the guys since July. And just seeing how the coaches are and everybody, it's a really good atmosphere. But that's also how Oklahoma City is as a as a city. You know, that's kind of right up my alley being from Charlotte. And, uh, you know, I think I fit in well here. Uh, Anthony, what about your thoughts on being a, on a team that's right here on the cusp of possibly being a championship team? Um, like I said, it's a blessing to be here. You know, a um, you know, long time being on teams where you know, I've, I've never made the playoffs. So, uh to kind of just, you know, you look up and, and you're in a position to play for one of the best teams in the league. You know, it, it just made me work that much harder. You mentioned uh, the atmosphere. When you were playing at, in Charlotte and you've been in the league for a while, what what was your view of Oklahoma City? I mean, I, I assume this is your first time here other than just playing. I mean, yeah. what was your view? Um, I mean, obviously, it's, you know, kind of a, uh, you know, it's kind of a slow roll city, you know, um, you know it's just real laid back. You know, that's kind of how me and my family are anyway. So I feel like it was one of those situations that uh, when I knew I was going to sign here, it, you know, I, I talked to my family, prayed about it, and uh, we felt like it was the best place for me. Do you believe being on a team that's defensive-minded will help uh, inspire you, take you to another level defensively? Definitely. Um, especially even even last year playing for, for Coach Monty Williams, everybody knows how much of a, a defensive guy he is. Um, I think that that helped me take more strides defensively last year, uh, especially um, as a on the ball and as a help defender. So I think that coming into this team where they have their structure set, I just want to get out and uh, you know just learn the schemes defensively. And, and, and that's why I really try to take my pride in. You know, I know offensive, offensively is going to come, but defensively is something I want to improve in every day. Uh, Anthony, uh, you, you're coming in obviously with a really good reputation for knocking down the three ball for fans maybe who haven't seen you play. Just talk, just describe your offensive game for us. Um, well, obviously, you know, my, that's been my bread and butter. Um, you know, making shots and, and being a, a three point shooter. But uh, I just think my you know development offensively um, has been able to take. A lot of things that I've done outside the arc and, and create things inside the arc, floaters, pull-ups, um, being able to make plays for my teammates. So that's something that I continue to strive to work on every day, um, and that's something I'm going to continue to work on. Anthony, they've had three-point shooters before, Karan Butler, Daquan, but they were streaky. You never seemed to be a streaky shooter. What's the secret to not being a streaky shooter? Um, really just, just trying to stay consistent in my preparation. You know, that's something I, I kind of – you know, in terms of discipline, just just been doing my my seven years in the league, and even before I've been in the league. Um, so that's that's really what it is. Knowing that you're gonna go through slumps, and you know you're gonna go through times where you, it's not gonna go in all the time. But uh, keeping that same preparation uh, usually is what sparks my confidence, and, and that's what I want to continue to keep. Anthony, as good of a three point shooter as you've been in a league where uh, you know teams put a premium on it. Why do you think you've had a hard time uh, staying with one team that you've, you've been around, um, uh, around the block a few times? I think, I mean, if you look at it, you know, a lot of times it's something negative. But, I mean, I think if you, you check, you know, my, my background, there's never been anything negative said. So I think it's just, you know, obviously the politics of, of moving from team to team and getting traded and throwing in trades and things like that. But, uh, you know, it's just part of the journey. You know, that's part of, of, of you know, my journey here, and one of my one of my good friends, Kyle Corver, kind of went through that when he first came in the league. 
but uh, you know, he found his niche in a couple in a couple of places. He's one of the best three point shooters ever. So uh, this is one of those things where you got to keep working um, and just keep grinding, and, and you'll find your home eventually. Two or three years ago, you were in a triple overtime game at home against the Thunder, and you went off for like 30, and Russ had 45. And uh, do you remember that game? What do you remember most? And did you ever think, man, if I was alongside I mean, Russ or? That's a long time ago. <laughs> I think that was. I think I was in Jersey then. But uh, you know, I mean, like I said, you know, the consistency and, and the, the the development of, of the guys that have been on the team here um, is tremendous. So you know, I've I watched Russ and Kevin and Serge kind of just you know watch their games grow over the years, and I'm just glad to be a part of it now. Uh, Kyle Corver is your best friend. Can you out shoot him? Yeah, <laughs> he's my good friend. Uh, we had some battles in Atlanta. I wouldn't say I could just flat out out shoot them all the time, but he, we had some battles. We went back and forth. You mentioned you you watch this team. I'm sure you watch a lot of basketball. When you're watching this team in the playoffs last year, were you saying like this team could use a, a sharpshooter on the outside? Is that something you would? Um, I, I wasn't really thinking about that. I was just watching the playoffs. But uh, you know, obviously, you know, with what I do and and uh, the guys that they had that can get to the basket and, and cause a lot of uh, attention. Um, obviously, I feel like it's a good place for me. So that was something that I definitely wanted to wanted to look at. But um, like I said, you know, I didn't I didn't know it was going to happen like that. I'm just blessed to be in the position I'm in. From the time you've had to play with these guys here the last couple of weeks or however long it's been, what have you learned that you didn't know about any of them? Um, I mean, I feel like I, you know, like I said, it's a real family family type of atmosphere here. So uh, the guys are extremely close, um, and I didn't. I just didn't realize, you know, behind the scenes how much work guys put in. You know, even the the coaches, the development coaches, do a lot of extra stuff. You know, I was watching film, you know, a few weeks ago. You know, in the summertime, you know, guys don't really like to really sit down and watch film. So that's something that you know I see the preparation. I see what it really takes and why they're being so good over the years.